We are in the next round. The final round. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how many times in a game of chess... I'll be going over the game and see instantly the right move that I didn't see in minutes of thinking over the board. Chief 523 is in first place. I'm tied for third at the moment. Oh, I'm still trembling from that last game. And I'm a bit fatigued at the time. I, you, you guys, I mean, I've been here all night long. <laughs> I don't remember when this stream started, but it's been going a while. Thank you for the follow, JSP, and everyone who's been following. Quite a few followers today. And we've had so far today... S. Vlad, YMKM, Alvin, Alfie Zero, K.E. Bishop, Melville, Emilio Atarian, Grizzled, Euclid, Nikolai Pavlov, and JSP, JS Pesher, J. Spicher, oh, and Aladala. Thank you, Aladala, for the follow. Thank you, Aladala, for the follow. Aladala decided to follow. What an intense game that last one was. Woof. And I mean woof. <sighs> Appreciate all follows, all cheers. All subs. Oh, and I, I skipped Bludus, B L U D U S, Bludus 123 in the recap, so I don't want to forget Bludus. Bludus. Hmm. Interesting. Roman chess master. Hola, Roman chess master. Welcome to the King's Bishop Teaches Chess program. Stray Pub 3, welcome to the program. Thanks for chiming in and being with us. Ah. Uh. 
what to do about that. What to do about that? Seems like a good idea to not be standing on g1 with my opponent's queen on b6. Quite a few follows today, and if you haven't done so already, the second bishop in the banner is pointing right to the heart that will allow you to follow. Well, we don't want to open the D file and give them a target at which to aim, so we're going to play pawn to F5. I suppose he could play d5 and try to rip the file open. That would be an option. Would probably necessitate a queen c2 type of move. I might be willing to play queen c2 anyway after a move like that. Might be better for my queen to be in line with my opponent's king. C5 might be a prudent move here as well. To stop any ideas of D5 and ripping open the, the position. Let me stink. Now, uh, one thing, Stray Pub, uh, I, I do have the pawn hovering over C4, so uh, this is an official USCF rated chess game, so please reserve any commentary till it's too late to do anything about it. Um, <clears throat> these are officially rated games, so any commentary that comes before the fact could be considered um, assistance, and, and that's illegal. So let's just hold the comments, and if I miss something, like um, when um, whoever it was said OMG earlier, Nick BC, I think it was, that was him saying, you missed, <laughs> you missed a, uh, Winning, going up the exchange there. So ex post facto is fine. Hey, King's Bishop, you missed um, going. You missed that queen st just sitting there saying, "Please take me on f6." Once it's too late to do anything about it, then that's fine. But during the game, or you know, even if the if if the position moves past a place where it's no longer possible to accomplish a certain thing, that's okay to make comment there. I really want this square from my knight. It would be a great place for my knight. You know, let's get my bishop up out of its bed. I've got to get my queen off the D file. And it'd be very happy on the C file, probably. My 
did have a couple of good tactics today. Yeah, that makes sense. He doesn't want me to have that square. And his bishop is not so hot. His bishop is not very happy. So do I want to trade off those bishops when his bishop really doesn't have many choices? I'm going to say no. His bishop is experiencing a bit of tall pawn syndrome. Instead, I'm going to bring my bishop back here with maybe someday coming up. I don't want to make his bishop good. And right now, that poor bishop on e7. <laughs> Well, I mean, look at him. He has nowhere to go. I might like to play g3 just to rub it in. 428. I'm half a minute ahead on time. Possibly he'll just move back to f6. Huh. Okay. He's taking away some squares from me, and he's going to say, you might have wanted to rethink that, Coach Daniel. Let's get my knight here first. A couple of squares to go to from here that could be potentially useful kind of clogged up here but we're gonna find some way to make good I might like to open the C file so if he plays Knight to f6 maybe I'll go ahead and play Knight d5 let him trade now his Queen and King are standing on a Half open file together. Oh, I see. He's trying to make his bishop good, is what he's doing. Let's gain a little more space here. This puts the question to the A pawn, so he either has to push it or defend it. And it takes more space away from my opponent. I'm still about a half minute ahead on the clock. Okay, he created a weakness right here. So now I can attack his queen and try to exploit that weakness right there. Mm -hmm. huh. What if I play now bishop... Is this a move? Oh, wait a minute. My queen's hanging. Hold your horses. <laughs> my queen's standing there, people. You can't just go hanging your queen. That is not a move, Coach Daniel. Look what I almost did there. Did you see me almost do that? Yikes. What a horrific move that would have been. All right. Glad we're not playing over the board. Touch move would have sunk me on that one. <laughs> he had the face palm ready to go. <laughs> oh, ladles and jelly spoons. I, and I've made that kind of blunder. 
I have made that kind of blunder. All right. So obviously we want to move our queen. A5 is definitely a more aggressive and active square upon which to land our queen. So that's where I'm putting it. <clears throat> there are ideas of pawn to b4, rip open the b-file. This rook is a bit misplaced, but in due time... Okay, see, he's saying, uh-uh. Not going to give you any ideas... Any opportunities? Ah, okay. The check here would be pretty empty, I think. But I'm going to throw it anyway. Knight to b6, check. And then jump right back and attack the king. I mean the rook. Whoa, wasn't I ahead on time? I was a half a minute ahead, now I'm more than a half a minute behind. How did that occur? Alright, I've got to move a little faster than I thought. Rotten, rotten person, you. Hmm. Got to get over here. Yeah, I kind of let this slip. This is probably a draw now. This is probably a draw. I don't have time to work it out. Don't have time to work it out. Yeah. Ah, that was a blunder. Oh. is hanging. Overlooked that. Overlooked that, didn't I? Okay, I might still win this. I might still win this, people. How's he going to defend that pawn there? Uh, I probably shouldn't have wasted so much time. Check. Check. Move. Fine. Ah, I ran out of time. Ran out of time. <laughs> Ran out of time. So dribble three, welcome by the way. Doggone it. Should have been a win. Seven to 
sixth place. Oh my goodness. Chief went undefeated. Brian Rude. And then you had five people in a row with three out of five. So these two guys won by tie break their, their positions. Uh, I'm kicking myself over that last game. If I'd have seen that, recognized that hanging H-pawn a little bit sooner.